All right, guys, so we're back at the wash today. You requested it, so we're gonna take care of it. We got a spot-free video for you. We're gonna give you an overview of the spot-free system here at the Clean Right Car Wash. So let's head inside and check it out. All right, guys, so the flow diagram of this system is exactly how we have it laid out here in the lab, right? Through the sand filters, into the charcoal filter, into the pre-filter, and then into our production pump down here on the back. From the production pump, we're gonna hit that RO media itself, removing all, the, all that TDS. TDS stands for t total dissolved solids. We're looking to eliminate that stuff. That's what's gonna leave water spots on the car. As, as we flow through the RO media itself, it's gonna remove that TDS. We have two TDS meters on this system, one for incoming water and one sensing the RO water. Once that TDS level gets down low enough, and we're looking for zero, but typically end up with less than five PPM. PPM is parts per million. So we're looking for five, five or less PPM on this system. As soon as we hit that, it's gonna start sending water up to our storage tank. That storage tank is gonna hold all of our good RO water for the customer. As soon as the customer selects a spot-free rinse out in the bay, the corresponding solenoid valve will open up. We'll start to pull water from our storage tank into our delivery pump, up through the rail, and then out that corresponding solenoid to the bay. All right, guys, so just a couple quick things to think about with your RO unit, spot-free unit. Right, if you feel like you're not getting the water quality that you want, when was the last time you changed your sand media? Charcoal media, maybe it's your pre-filter. It actually could be the actual RO membranes themselves. If you're not getting that water quality that you want, typically that's where we're gonna look right away. Uh, you can do that with a TDS meter. We sell TDS meters here at CleanRight. You can check your incoming TDS and then TDS after each one of those filters to make sure that that number is constantly going down. And then you can actually check the TDS in your production water itself. Make sure that that TDS matches up with what your controller is telling you you're getting. We're not gonna dive too, too deep into the system today, uh, but if you're having any other issues with your spot-free system, give us a call. Drop a comment below, ask that question. We'll either answer that question or we'll make you a video. All right guys, so that's gonna close out the quick overview spot-free video we're doing for you here today. We just covered the different filters, medias, stuff like that. If you have any other questions, electrical issues, pump issues, float issues, anything like that, drop a comment below so we can make more detailed specified videos on those segments of the system. The system's really big and can be complex, but we can break it down in a video series if that's what you guys wanna see.